Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I want to show you how to configure uh, the MQTT to the Kinex system using Netix automation software. Okay, now what we have is we download and install the open source Musketeer MQTT server and then we we run it we can check it from the service in uh, Windows 10 so here we can see the Musketeer broker it's running okay of course from here we can start or stop also uh, uh, from uh, common prompt we can do that okay there's two way to run and stop this server this is a musketeer broker it's open source and it's it's totally free then uh, we also download the MQTT Explorer okay because we need it to send the message and receive the message also so we do it here you can see and then uh, we have the multi protocol netix automation so in multi protocol what's happening this is a server to uh, translate different protocol to each other it's one of the product from netix automation austria and uh, here uh, what we can do is first of all we should uh, provide some uh, uh, program or some yeah some program in ETS okay so in ETS I make a test program like this okay then I export this program using the ETS app that is um, especially for Netix automation so I go for app and then I uh, insert the uh, ETS license okay you can see this is uh, now it's 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 activated I I choose the Netix PMS app secure as one of the Canix and then here it's, it's going to pop up I choose the Netix multi protocol server is one of the product to uh, translate different protocol to each other okay you can see here uh, it asks us which uh, uh, information you want to export and I choose all of them okay and then click on export and make the file okay great so after after we export what's happening is uh, we should go to the Netix automation software here from the Canix part in the main menu we can import the, the exported file from uh, ETS based on uh, Netix app. Okay, I, I select it and replace it. Anyway, after after we do this, we come here. Okay, of course the Canix will be connected. So all of the project of Canix is coming here okay we can see the gateway is true so we are connected to the Canix system uh, how about the, the definition of MQTT so here from the right hand side uh, there is a module part we go here the MQTT we selected the broker and data point definition but you should know that for the first time when you want to uh, uh, run it there is no MQTT in modules you should go to the extension to the manager and start extension uh, manager from the from 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 here you can al uh, add, add the extension uh, the MQTT extension okay yeah so here from the MQTT what we have we have the broker part so in broker part we call it localhost this is a 1027001 because I install the Musketeer server in the same computer that I use so I use the internal IP address 
Uh, the port should be 1883 and because because this is for test so we do not have any username and password okay and and the data is not coded if if we want to use the coded we should uh, define it here so in MQTT broker I only enter the IP address of the Muscatute server as a broker in MQTT and 1883 port okay great so the next one is from here the MQTT we select the MQTT data point definition okay interesting so in, 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 in this definition we should write first of all the topic uh, dollar sys broker version how it's come it's come from the uh, MQTT Explorer we should we should enter it here yeah we should enter it here and then in MQTT uh, Explorer from here we define the new topic this topic can be the for example thermostat can be the pump anything uh, this is this topic is new topic okay great we select the new topic uh, we make the some new connection as a netix connection okay then we connect it huh great so here we put the new topic the data type is integer 16 bits because we want to uh, in, in our test the main idea is to send the set point from the MQTT to the CANIX system okay great the access point is read and write both of them together and that's it it's done right after that we can press the save all and start uh, the server that is already here it's started so another things in netix automation is use the vlink okay to make the link between the uh, two things first of all the MQTT data to the numeric uh, variation and the numeric variation to the group address in Canix okay so here we can see what's happening in Canix you can see the set point here you can see the set point status okay I for example send the new set point 24 okay you can see the set point is updated here interesting huh so we can go to the MQTT Explorer uh-huh we can define set point 16 publish it Okay, you can see here it's published it, 16 here yeah interesting the set point in Canix is changed and you can see this set point status from the thermostat that we have the thermostat we have is Elsner new thermostat ETR interesting so so we can we can configure what we can configure the MQTT to the Canix using the Netix multi protocol server. Really great. Thanks for watching, and I will be back. Have a nice day. Thank you.